Hello, hello, my name is Sophia and this is an audio version of my blog entry entitled Walkthrough Hactoria Geolocation 14. Note, the Hactoria website no longer has geolocation challenges, therefore all the links have been removed. This blog entry is for legacy purposes only. Feel free to give it a go by attempting to geolocate the image before reading the walkthrough. And here we go to Hactory's geolocation number 14 challenge. They keep on coming and I keep on solving them. So without further ado, let's get down to business. And this is geolocation 14 picture with the question, what is the name of the city this picture was taken in? Use the English name for the city. Mm -hmm. So first thing we need to do when starting any geolocation is to really inspect the image for any useful details. So have the picture, you zoom it around, try to find anything that could be interesting and useful for us. At first impression, we can immediately tell this is a Middle Eastern country due to the building style and color. The residential buildings on both sides of the street are painted with a typical cream orange color. The roof is flat and each apartment has a small balcony underneath the floor of the flat directly above. This system helps keep the heat from coming directly into the house in the hot months and it's often seen in that area of the globe. If we Google something like Middle East residential building style, we get similar results in terms of architecture framework such as the ones below. So just Googled Middle East residential building style and this is the sort of building we can just see on our image. I also immediately noticed that there is an interesting mix of English and Arabic around. So if we pick it up, so we have this one written in English, this one written Arabic, more English on this section as well, which is quite interesting. It could be either that English is a co-official language with Arabic or that we're looking at the country where the population speaks English fluently and therefore it's commonly seen around. So let's search for English in Middle Eastern countries. Google was kind enough to immediately give us the answer from Wikipedia. Here you go, English, one of the official languages of these places, also commonly taught a new second language in these countries. We can infer that the Geolocation Challenge 14 photograph was taken somewhere in one of the following countries. Egypt, Jordan, Iran, Kurdistan, Iraq, Qatar, Bahrain, United Arab Emirates and Kuwait. Now it's probably time to investigate the image a bit more. On the left there is the name of a shop and some words next to it. Unfortunately, even after playing with GIMP a bit, I can't actually tell what any of these words say. So we're looking at the left side of the picture there. They are clearly in English, but to no avail, I can tell however that whatever they're selling is 60% off. At this point, I'm guessing this is a clothes shop, we'll just have to confirm this later. On the other side of the road, we get more information. The shop is clearly named Thai House. Could this be a Thai restaurant? And why is there Snow White's head at the bottom? It's all quite pink and I can't tell exactly what they're selling, but at least I have the name now. Just next to it, there is another shop with their banner in Arabic. So pick it up. This is the Thai house of the section and this is the shop with the Arabic name. It's all too blurry to be able to discern any characters. So it's also not useful at the moment. It's just not that I could read Arabic anyway. I decided to focus on something completely different. The red bus in front of us. And yeah, with all of this, this is where I focused. <laughs> Makes perfect sense in my head. Okay, it looks like a plain red bus, but there is this not completely straight white line just underneath the windscreen before the red color starts. So I have the picture here. So look at that. There's a tiny bit line there. This will be very important to us. There is also a digital screen on top indicating probably the name or number of the bus or even the route. I feel like if we find out who sells this vehicle and where they get shipped to, we might find our country. 
So public and private transport vehicles are usually bought and sold under big contracts. A country doesn't just buy a rogue bus, they buy hundreds or thousands for their fleet. So there must be traces of them somewhere. So I went to Google. I just wrote city, red bus, Middle East. Yeah, just keeping simple. I got a few results that I scroll through, but it did not take long to spot a red bus with a white line underneath the windscreen and a big digital screen on top. And this is it. Look at that line. Line. As expected, I clicked on the image link and landed on this very useful page. It was an article posted in July 2015 informing the reader that Bahrain would be launching some big infrastructure projects. This is a very good link between our red bus and Bahrain, a country that was on our list of possible locations. Bahrain is quite a small country, so how many shops named Thai House could it have? Time to check it out using Google Maps. And here it is, our not Snow White. It seems that my first guess was wrong. This is not a Thai restaurant, but a beauty house. And that is not Snow White. It's some random lady's head. Well, close enough, whatever. Now that I know the street name of where the challenge's photo was taken, I wanted to check Google Street View to confirm all landmarks. Unfortunately, I was not able to do so, so I did the next best thing and started checking business photos of the nearby area, still using Google Maps. And this is what I found. Comparing the Thai house images, on the left we have our original image from the geolocation challenge, on the right, a photo from the business page. We can match the name, we can match the logo on the left there. We can match the snow white head, which is obviously not snow white. We can match this window slash balcony illustration on the left hand side. And that's it. It's clearly a match. Now let's check the other side of the road that had a 60% off sign on the window. And here it is. Olympic outlet is the name of the shop and next to it there's the basics so this is basics this says olympic outlet i was kind of right it is a closed shop focused on sportswear we can also see the fence in front of it another great match i also found another similar photo but from a bit further away and on a different angle so we can see that we have in fact two fences in front of us one separating the two lines of traffic on the road and the other one separating the road to the pavement where the shop is located. We can also compare the business with the Arabic name that was too blurry to read. Below on top is the cropped area from our Hark Tourist Geolocation 14 challenge and on the bottom the Google Maps photo of the business. You can spot the blue and red logo there and there, the shop name in Arabic, the top sentence written in black and the bottom one written in red. Same thing here. It is another perfect match. We can even see both the home appliances and electronics shop. So this one there and there and the Thai house beauty shop next to each other in this photograph I found. And that is it. We have found the location and we can now answer the question on Hactoria. What is the name of the city this picture was taken in? Use the English name for the city, and the city is Manama in Barim. If you want to check out the location, here are the coordinates of where I believe the photographer was at the time of the photo. I hope that this walkthrough was informative and helpful in case you were stuck. If you reached the same conclusion using a different method, feel free to share it as I would be very happy to learn new techniques and or tools. Thank you for listening. Sophia.